how to make or how I made less of a huge stinking mess. Let's get into it. This vintage planner I restored didn't come with a dust collection port, nor was I successful in finding one to fit it online. So for longer than I'm willing to admit, this was basically my setup, but no more. I started with some scrap quarter inch ply, cutting out the top panel of the port at 14 and a quarter inches by eight inches. Then setting the blade to a little over 17 degrees to account for the slope of the box, I cut out the bottom panel with the angular cuts along the front and back. After that, I cut and ripped the four and a half inch wide side panels. Before measuring and marking two and a half inches down the back side of the side panels, drawing a connecting line to the front lower corner. And then using a skill saw to cut along that line to create the slope of the port. With the top, bottom, and sides ready, I glued the sides to the top of the panel. Then rip the piece for the back of the port, the bottom long side of which was cut at 17 degrees to meet the slope. I then glued that panel into place before adhering the bottom panel piece. To sure up their connection, I added a few brad nails. Then, to better direct the dust to the actual dust collection point, I ripped two panels for the inside of the box that would taper from the front slash mouth of the box towards the center of the back. I glued those into place as well. Then it was time to cut out the opening for the blast gate I'd used to bridge the gap between the dust collection port and my dust collection system. To cut it out, I used a few reliefs before tackling the rest of the job with the skill saw. With a snug fit, the last step was to add the recesses for the bolts that would hold the port to the planer. Attach the dust collection hose, and that's a wrap. I'm genuinely mad at myself for not doing this sooner. It took less than two hours to do and makes a world of difference. If you're lucky enough to have picked up one of these workhorses but also need a better way of collecting the dust, I have a link to the simple plans I use for this port in the description below. Next time, we jump into something brand new with this fold-away welding table. Until next time.